What's going on, everybody? It's the Hook Cam back again with another film breakdown. This time I really wanted to dive into Kyler Murray, take a look at his rookie season, see what he put out there on film, and see what the Cardinals have at the quarterback position going forward. Now, with all this being said, I do want everyone to understand that this is a very small sample size, right? I can't go through and put every snap that he had on this film or else it'd be like seven hours long, especially with me trying to break everything down. So let's all remember it's a small sample size, but here are some really, really good things that I saw with Kyler Murray going forward. Um, first things first, just this throw, third down and 10. I, I really like looking at third downs um, as far as evaluating quarterbacks and coaches as well because I think that, you know, obviously on third down, those are your go-to plays, right? And usually how coaches work things out is that they have some uh, they have some go-tos for third down um, as far as, you know, third and 10, third and 8, third and short, whatever it may be, they have certain plays for that situation. So with this, bringing heat to the right side of the formation, right? They're adding on this safety, um, obviously bringing heat pretty much across the board. Looks like he's going to drop off. and But coverage-wise, they're just locked up, right? They're just locked up in cover one, bringing this safety down. This is going to be their cover one safety. Now, Kyler does the smart thing on this, and he takes his shot down the sideline, and it's a beautiful ball. Absolutely gorgeous ball placement. Um, very catchable. It's high and away towards the sidelines where only his guy can get it. And this is just the pure talent that this kid has and brings to the table. Um, his throwing motion is a little weird to me, and I'm not going to act like I'm a quarterback guru because I am by no means a quarterback guy. But I just noticed when he lets go of this thing, he's a little off balance and kind of leaning back. I know that that's kind of his style, though. So I don't necessarily know if that's something that needs to be corrected or what. Like I said before, not a quarterback guy. So first thing was just that talent with that deep ball. Next thing that I want to point out is, um, you know, a little bit about what Cliff Kingsbury is doing for him when he's calling the plays here. So the Falcons are running just a very basic cover four, right? And when you have cover four with these two corners or safeties or backers, really, whoever these cats are, what they're doing is they're going to drop right and they're dropping into this hook curl area and if anything happens in the flat right if they leak this back out into the flat they're going to rally and that's the same thing on both sides now the play call on this is mirrored on both sides right so we're going to get out of number one we're going to get a streak at a number two we're going to get a curl that's going to break into the formation right now this is great it, it's mirrored on both sides which just means it's the same it's also great because there's a great cover four beater and we're going to watch it right here right if we keep our eyes on this cat right here this corner he's going to drop all the way in front of number one okay because the fear is that they're going to run like an 18 yard comeback and there's going to be nobody here because he's dropping here but since he's dropping into this curl flat area or excuse me hook curl area he's going to drop into that spot where there could be that deep comeback now when they drop like that, it's going to open up some space underneath for Kyler to put this ball in on this curl to Larry Fitzgerald. Boom, right there. Really, really great play call here. Great job from number one, Kyler Murray, anticipating that and being able to make that throw, make that completion. Number two, great job by Cliff Kingsbury for noticing that, game planning it throughout the week, and then executing it on Sunday. Now, this play, it's it's there's nothing that's really crazy about it. Really what I like is the decision-making more than anything, and again, it's kind of the play calling. We're just going to push up field with uh, almost like a corner out from number one, and then it's just going to be a really quick speed out from number two. Um, get that first down, move the chains. Again, make things easy for your rookie quarterback. Now, moving on to the Saints game, and again, the importance of third down. The Saints are going to bring pressure on this down, um, and it's a third down and 10, right? Third and long, so it, you, I understand where Kyler is going with this, right? But just Route wise, what we're getting here, like I said, Saints are bringing heat across the board. Um, he's basically going to spy. We're locked up here, 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 and then at the bottom as well. We're going to run off with both of our number ones. Okay, our number twos are going to run a whip route, which is they're going to break into the field and then back out to the sideline. They're going to mirror that with this. Okay, break into the field, back out to the sideline, and then with Larry Fitzgerald, he's going to basically run a little slant over the middle. That's just in case that this cat pressures. Now you have this blitz beater. Um, Third down and 10. And, and like I said, I understand why Kyler is going to end up taking a shot to this cat up here. It's because you need the yardage one-on-one -on -one situation. You got to get that ball out quick. And he tries to put it in a position where only his guy can get it or it's going to be an incompletion. It's really not that bad of a ball when you look at it. It's really not. Now, my knock on it is I would, I would think that they want him to throw this hot down here. 
right? Because then you have space. You got one on one. Maybe he can make a guy miss. But again, it's all about matchups. Um, it's not blocked well up front, which is why he has to get rid of it so quickly. So I understand why he does end up getting rid of that thing uh, and putting it towards the sideline and picking that position. Understand why he threw it there. Really, it's actually a pretty good ball. So unfortunate that they couldn't reel that one in. Now with this next clip that we're looking at from Kyler Murray, they're in the red zone here. Um, very simple coverage wise. It's just going to be straight up cover one, which you'll see a lot of times when you're inside the red zone in the NFL um, here's your deep safety now what I love about this ball from Kyler first off it's a phenomenal ball right it ends up being incomplete targeting Larry Fitzgerald really really just great location with that football absolutely love that but the other thing that I love that Kyler Murray does on this which I think is decently advanced is his his ability to move safeties or at least hold safeties with his eyes so watch his helmet off the snap right boom off the snap he's looking st- this way right now obviously he's not going to end up throwing this rock over here I don't think he's even planning on doing that to begin with but what he's trying to do is hold this safety if you can hold him for just a second that's going to open up a lot of space for 11 to go and try and make that catch which he actually does and I think that this is a completion Um, obviously I don't have the instant replay so I can't say for sure but the ability that Kyler has to to move safeties or hold safeties with his eyes I think is very impressive and it's one of the things that really stood out to me when looking at this film now moving on to a game against the Niners really again getting back to that natural ability Kyler Murray has this is going to end up being uh, like an 11 or 12 yard out all right just an 11 or 12 yard excuse me 11 or 12 yard speed out um and the Niners are going to end up running cover uh cover three right so the safety is going to open his hips and he's going to work back um Again, it's going to end up being a cover three. Great call for that three beater, right? You got this safety. He's moving his hips back. Boom, he's bailing. We're going to break this thing into a speed out for a first down. But something that not a lot of people notice when quarterbacks are throwing balls, this is an opposite hash throw, right? So if it's near hash, this ball is a lot closer and a lot easier to throw. But since it's an opposite hash, it's got to cover a lot of distance. It's got to get there quick, and it's got to be in a spot where only your guy can get it, which he does on that, and he executes very, very well. Again, it's that natural ability, that quick release, the ability to get the ball out, get it to an accurate spot, and move the chains. Really good job on that. Again, his throwing motion to me looks like he's fading away a little bit, but I'm not going to act like I'm a QB guru. Just like I said earlier, I'm not going to act like uh, I know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to that because I definitely do not. And to be honest, nobody does unless you're a QB guru. Um, unless you're a legit QB coach, you probably don't know what you're talking about. All right, moving on to this next clip again from the Niners game. The Niners are just going to run straight up cover one, right? They're locked up on the outsides. They got their one safety deep. Um, it's going to be a max protect, right? And we're going to give a quick little run action here. It's going to hold the backers. Really good job on that. You're going to hold this safety here. Um, and you're really just trying to open up space deeper down the field, which is exactly what they do. Like I said, Niners are in cover one. You got your deep safety. Andy Isabella is going to run this deep crosser coming across across the field right there um again the job that kyler does with his eyes sticks out to me in this situation he holds that safety by just staring him down and opening up some space for his for his receiver to get some room uh very very good job and again i do think it's it's more advanced than just regular rookie quarterbacks are doing excellent job by him on this and again people were wondering why i was able to pick that the Chiefs were going to win the Super Bowl it's because the Niners I think struggled when it came to running cover one um no shot at the Niners intended with that just the way it is now the other thing great ball from Kyler Murray on this right leading him a little bit upfield not a chance that this corner is going to get there very very athletic play from him and then Andy Isabella sealing this thing off with a touchdown All right, fellas, the last play that I want to take a look at here, and the reason why I think this is so impressive is because how the Rams line up into this and then how they end up dropping out into this cover two look, right? It's really a Tampa two because they have this middle of the field player. Um, But the processing that Kyler Murray has to do on this play is is impressive. All right, so the Rams are going to drop off into their cover two. Okay, they have their middle of the field player right here who's going to take care of number three. It's really more like a Tampa two that they line up in. Right, so we're going to work across the field with number three. This middle of the field player is going to come down right here, wall that off. Um, Kyler and some quarterbacks in this situation would take a look at the middle of the field and say, "That's that looks great, that looks juicy. We're going to try and take that." Right, but since you have this safety who's going to be end up rolling down. A lot of things that could happen. It could get picked. He could jump the route. It's going to get knocked down, leaving your receiver out to dry. Even if he does catch it, not a lot of great options. Now, we can see here we've got our deep two safeties. This corner right here was taken care of with this flat threat, but he bails. He sinks to this thing, right? And Larry Fitzgerald's running like a slot fade here. So he's going to sink to that slot fade. 
Now, Kyler notices that and then hits his route in the flat right here. Very, very good job. High-level processing from him. Yeah, it's third down. No, he doesn't convert, but you live to fight another down. I love that processing from Kyler. I love the job he did on that. Very, very high-level stuff in that situation. Now, moving on, the one other thing that I did notice from Kyler is his two-minute drill stuff is really impressive. And I think that part of that's Lincoln Riley, part of that's Cliff Kingsbury, and part of it's the fact that he's just a good quarterback. Now, this play isn't, you know, a coverage beater by any means. This is just a great ball. It's a lot like the first clip, right? Great ball, great deep shot. Um, the location of the football is next level. But again, just his two-minute prowess, his ability to stay calm under pressure, right? Rams are lining up up front. Okay, this is no joke. They're they're lining up, trying to get him scared, trying to get him to get this ball off quick, which he does. Um, a very good job from Kyler, though. Staying calm, look at his, his ability to move in the pockets, very good. Um, stays calm under pressure and delivers a good football. So uh, with all that being said, guys, that's actually all I got for you today. Once again, small sample size. Take it with a grain of salt. But from what I saw from Kyler Murray, he did, looked very impressive this year. 20 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Um was cons conservative with the football, but not to a point where it hurt his team, right? You got to remember, this is a spread offense. It's not really air raid. Nobody runs a true air raid offense anymore. Um, this is a version of it in the spread form. So, and, and they did a great job of executing it. Very, very good job from Cliff Kingsbury, from Kyler Murray, and the Arizona Cardinals in general. So, excellent job from them. Uh, with all that being said, guys, I'm the Hook Cam. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, I will see you next time.